What's up, everybody? We're back with the channel's first retraction video. I'm, I'm probably first of many. We did a tier list where apparently we were uh, criminally wrong when it came to this guy here, the Quail Boar. Um, so he is an, an unbound. Yeah, he's, he's an unbound uh, melee mini that costs two that also has the tank uh, trade on. So he's like the the stone golem, except he comes out way faster. He actually will hit other units, and he costs one less. Um, so he definitely has some big benefits, which we're going to showcase here today. Uh, right now, actually. We'll do it by doing some heroic campaigns. I'm working on Duswell and Marsh right now. All the content here is going to be level appropriate, I think, except my hogger is giant. So, Skinny, why don't you talk about some of the things that we've experienced since we did that tier list? Yeah, well, we found out that uh, Unbound units are phenomenal for going behind range units and absolutely murdering them. Um, so yeah, so that was that was a big thing that we've discovered. They also are great, as we're about to see here, we're going to start this battle, and look, oh look, we can just capture that node and skip all of the mechanics for this entire fight, because we now have the node. Yeah, so. and this, this node in particular is pretty egregious, the difference that it makes. But being able to just to snipe a, a summoning stone immediately, regardless of where it is, is such a, a huge benefit to you. And like Skinny said, I'm avoiding all three of these blizzard patches. I don't need to worry about them at all. I can turn Jaina around once she's done killing that hogger. She's actually going to turn around and work on that quail boar, giving my other units a little bit of cover. Um, now, <laughs> the army I'm using probably isn't ideal for this right now because it's not super tanky to walk through it. But as you can see... The quail boar was at least tanky enough to eat a couple hits from her, which was it's actually kind of crazy. Nine, yeah. The quail boar took nine hits. Jeez. Well, hogger, hogger didn't take half as many as those hits as when we dropped that first hogger. So as you all can see, you know, it, it's a huge difference between what that quail boar can do as far as taking us and even the leader of, of a hogger. You know, given hogger does ramp, so he's going to get stronger as the match goes longer for us. But still, you know, on that first summon, the Quail Board just sat back there and took an absolute beating, which was beautiful. And we found out that that's its true purpose. Yeah. Not just, whatever shenanigans we were doing before. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's just um, absolutely amazing taking hits. Now, I'm doing a really bad job of positioning it. Because, like I said, we could have turned the boss around there a second ago. I'll tell you what. Let's end Jaina just by doing it somewhat properly. Let's get our whelps to pop here and defend our base. We'll throw safety pilot over here once she gets in range. The tower will help finish her off. And now we got the hogger quail boar combo yet again. Let's wait till we get up to uh, five gold. Let's throw hogger way in the back. As soon as we get in range, we throw the quail boar. Turns Jane around because the quail boar pops up immediately. Now hogger is going to reach the destination and just lay an absolute smackdown. So not only great at stealing summoning stones, but turning enemies around so that your squishier units or just your tankier units can go in there and do their job. I should have probably paid attention to what was happening instead of just monologuing. Uh, but maybe the Whelpling will finish it. There you go. Whelpling. Unbound units. They're too good <laughs> for the game. We're going to do one more example, kind of showing off uh, another thing that the Quail Boar is great at doing that a lot of Unbound minions are doing. But because the Quail Boar brings so much um, flex play, stealing summoning stones, turning units around, tanking way better than we thought we did. Um, do you know what I'm about to show? The other benefit of the quail board? Um, I think I have an idea. Yeah, we like gold. <laughs> we like gold. We love gold. We like denying gold. As soon as the game loads and I'm able to hit this continue button, we're going to go in and we're going to show how the quail board really excels at stealing enemy chests, whether that be yes. in PvE or PvP. Getting in there, it does take two hits, whereas the worgen takes one, makes it a little bit better uh, at that one component. But do you think the worgen can tank nine hits from an enemy Jaina like we just saw? I don't think there's any way a worgen can take nine hits from an enemy Jaina. Um, so, Dorky, while we're doing this, what trait then do we need on the Quailborn? Yeah, you really like the one where I think, believe it's called Tunnel Vision, where the Quailborn comes out just wicked fast. Um, I'll wait till the enemy kind of gets around here. Actually, we'll go here. We'll use the quail board to take out those Defias bandits. We're not getting the gold this time, but we're stopping the gold. And because we have a low cost deck, we'll cycle all the way through till we get back to the quail board. And because it only costs two, it does not take a long time to get him back up. So we throw the quail board at the chest. 
And we're going to see a quick little steal. One hit, two hit. Oh, this is a level 22 chest, so it's going to take four hits. All right, well, maybe... Maybe we're punching up too big in our PvE content, but that's kind of <laughs> impressive that the Quail Boar is able to bring us up here and just and shows a real strong light on what that Quail Boar did to the Jaina just a second ago. No, yeah, 100%, 100%. And that's it, right? You know, as we've played more with the other Unbound units that are at our disposal, you know, it does take a little bit longer. But look, look I mean, just tanking those hits there as the ranged boss is just laying waste on it and just no problem the quailborn is just chucking along like there's nobody's business happening you know like i said there's there's not another unbound unit that attacks other units that does that you know it especially at that low cost it's just it's insane it's really good we uh it's the first of many retraction videos <laughs> i can only imagine how many other things we got wrong but that's the joys of this game you know always learning always evolving and always having a great time. Yeah, the minis, they all seem to, to have their place in the game, which is kind of the, the most interesting part about this game, is that it seems really well balanced. Even the newest character, Sylvanas, didn't come out and just, like most mobile games, completely destroy the balance of the game. Um, for better or worse, like if you bought her, maybe you're like, ah, I was kind of hoping she would destroy the game. Uh, but for better or worse, she doesn't completely upend everything that we've played so far. And I kind of hope they keep that, right? That's... That's a, a more healthy game balance if uh, things that you've invested either time or money in in the past still have at least some value. So oh, yeah. we're going to let the Quail Board get a little bit closer to that dragon and then we're going to summon in just a bunch of ranged units. And uh, here we go. That should line up perfectly. Quail Board should be in range. Perfect. So you see the Quail Board is going to be tanking the hits. Unfortunately, I positioned that absolutely horrendously. Yeah, safe pilot needed to be a little bit further back there, but it's all right. Look, we'll summon another quail boar right here so that the dragon... No, the quail boar right away. That's fine. But we're doing just a node punch-up at this point, pushing the heroic mode further than our actual level uh, would maybe suggest we should be. And look at those those harpies made it all the way around. We might have to reevaluate the harpies too. Um, but I don't, I don't think... A lot of the comment section was like, yo, harpies are S-tier. What are you guys talking about? I don't know about S-tier, guys. Uh, a nice A tier I can get behind, but S tier seems kind of bonkers. All right, so this was just going to be our quick retraction video. There we go. We get it done. Let's open up these tomes, show some good stuff. Have any other units, uh, since we did those tier lists, popped out to you that you're like, oof, maybe we did that one dirty, or oof, maybe that one we rated too high? Yeah, well, I mean, I definitely said, you know, people were complaining about the Harpies. Maybe Meat Wagon, we were a little too harsh on as well in the D tier. Because of that long range, he can cheese some things on some PvE levels, especially. So that might be another one, you know, that we, we may have been a little too harsh on. Um, I think the Raptors deserve S tier if we're putting Harpies in S tier. <laughs> you no, know, I'm going to no be shot. honest. No shot. <laughs> There's no shot, dude. Whoa, I'll never piece. give up on my Raptors. Never in a million years. There you go. So, <laughs> hey, if you had to reevaluate the uh, the Quail Boar, what are you giving it as far as a ranking goes? I mean, two cost? That tanky? I mean... Unbound? It's kind of crazy. Unbound? It's kind of bonkers. It really, really is. I think an easy reevaluation is... I mean, high A, high A. Like, like if Raptors are in A, because I'm a Raptor fanboy, <laughs> I got to put the Quarrel Boar in A right behind the Raptors. Maybe even in front. Don't tell the Raptors I said that. <laughs> yeah, well, for me and for whatever it's worth, I've been able to push like three additional zones because of the Quail Boar. And for that reason, and I use it in every single deck now. I use it in the dungeons to push my, I believe it's Baron Rivendare now. He has gold everything. Or no, it's Hogger that has gold everything, I believe. Uh, like, I, yeah, Hogger has gold everything. I I push so far because of the Quail Boar. I got I to gotta up to S tier. It's, it's got to be S tier, yeah. I yeah, gotta. based on those qualifications, it has to go S tier for sure. I, um... I just want the Raptors in S tier, so that's why. That's <laughs> I'll why tell you what, there. just for Skinny, we're going to build up Raptors, we're going to play with them, and then we're going to come and shit all over them. Hey, let's do it. All right, guys, so there you go. <laughs> Quail Boar definitely moving up the ranks. You're definitely going to want to build that character to push not just PvE, but PvP. The Quail Boar, we didn't talk about this, amazing at sniping out enemy kobolds who are about to hit a three mine stack. 
uh, and just, yeah, just an amazing character. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned tomorrow when the game launches. It's not going to be relevant to many people. We did the beginner video there. But we're going to have gameplay tips and tricks. Again, I've been pushing the campaign really hard right now. We're, do we're doing punch-up heroic campaigns now, which feels a lot better than doing punch-down campaigns after we stalled out. Uh, so it's, it's really good tips for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.